far off at all. I can see you coming down the road, everyone. Any seconds, he's going to be turning around the corner. Oh my goodness, it's happening. A moment in history. Remember this day. The last time we had the Olympics in this country was in the 40s. On this time, it's going to come out again. Oh my goodness! As she comes down, make some noise for her! extra special. The BBC are also here, ladies and gentlemen. So I'd like to welcome onto stage our man from the BBC, Nick Conrad, to ask you a few questions. Make some noise for Nick, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely to see everyone out. Has anyone got any marshmallows for the fire? <laughs> That's what I really want. Ladies and gentlemen, you're live on BBC Radio and you are live on BBC TV. the UK to Norwich. <laughs> I have to say, I think Norfolk's done itself proud watching the uh, torch come in at Kings go right the way throughout our county. So many happy smiling faces and the main thing is the weather's good. The main thing is the weather's good. And apparently it's going to stay like this. Um, Charlotte, can I have a quick word with you? Is that thing out? Okay. It's not hot on the end, is it? I don't know. Okay. Alright, I'm going to stay well away from that. <laughs> what was it like running through Norwich? Amazing, there's so many people. Yeah. And what does it mean to you to carry that symbol of the Olympics? It's just fantastic to be part of it. And why do you think you were picked? Um, I do a lot of voluntary work for um, the Community First Responders um, and 